copper theft is apparently making a comeback in Albuquerque because one man reportedly stole thousands of pounds and caused tens of thousands of dollars in damage to several local businesses just last month alone. But APD's investigation is not over yet. Julie Frindak joins us now with more details and also a look at how police were able to connect this suspect to multiple incidents in total. Julie? Yeah, the common denominator in the cases so far is this white truck. Video shows it at a city of transit depot, a local medical plaza, and a metal recycling center. And the man reportedly behind the wheel is now facing multiple felonies. With one puff of smoke, Businesses in this Albuquerque Medical Plaza went dark Tuesday afternoon. Very disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. Jennifer Duffy is a nurse practitioner with Family Medicine PC inside the plaza. They're working around the ongoing power outage. We've had to run generators through. We're without telephones. We're on our cell phones. We're unable to get lab results, faxes. Communication really is limited. Duffy says only five of their 15 patient rooms are usable right now. Our community is in need of more family practice, more providers. So things like this really put a, a stop on all of it. She's talking about the copper theft that started this days long outage. Investigators have reason to believe Brian Robinson in this white truck is responsible for it. We definitely see the spike over the last uh, month or two. They say it's likely the same white truck cameras caught at a Northwest Albuquerque transit depot three times last month. The video shows men allegedly stealing thousands of pounds of copper and causing tens of thousands in damage. Usually my experience with this is you don't have a, a high volume of people do it, but you have a few individuals that really spike it at once when they, they'll, they'll go and they'll do several metal thefts all at one time. Cameras later caught the same truck at a local metal recycling center. Police say Robinson was cashing in more than a thousand pounds of the copper. The center passed along the video and Robinson's information. Commander Bernard says that's how it's supposed to work under state regulation. The company that purchases that, the metal recycling yards, they have to take a picture of the vehicle that it's coming in. They're supposed to identify the person that's selling. If they don't, they could face their own charges and citations. Even with this white truck now sidelined, affected businesses say they'll still be keeping close tabs on their cameras. And it's all over and there's a lot of people that do it and he's not the only one. So after him, there's going to be more. And last month, we told you about another theft, this air conditioner theft at another medical plaza. Turns out it's right across the street from the one dealing with the ongoing power outage. Investigators haven't tied Robinson to this one, but say they're still looking into it. Tessa?